Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Ni Aiman Hakimi bin Hashim And I'm going to talk about film Nidaria Do you know, in animal kingdom Nidaria consists of over 10,000 species Whose fossil record reaches back about 518 million years the name of Nidaria comes from Greek word night meaning meaning little and aria meaning like or connected with. First of all, I'm going to talk about the characteristic of films Nidaria. Firstly, they primarily live in marine environment and some live in fresh water. They also have tissue organization and body plan displaying radial symmetry. The body of Snidarians is organized as a two-layered hollow sac with the mouth and surrounding tentacles at one end. Snidarians have two basic body forms. It's called dimorphism. Actually, it is polyps and medusa. The polyps are with sedentary life, while the medusa is floating or free-swimming life. The polyps also with tubular bodies, while the medusa with bell-shaped bodies. And some jellyfish exist in both forms at different times, while the anemones and corals only exist in the polyp form. Cynodarians are diploblastics, which means that they can have two definite tissue layers, which means ectoderm and endoderm. The ectoderm gives rise to epidermis, while the endoderm gives rise to in, inner and gastrodermis. The epidermis and gastrodermis are separated by gelatinous. It is intracellular material called mesoclea. The unit of synodarians are specialized with stinging cells called cnidocytes used to capture prey. This video shows how jellyfish catch their prey. Venom is ejected via nematosis, a whip-like hollow tubule which lies called under high osmotic pressure. When mechanical or chemical stimuli activate an external trigger, the lid of the cell pops open and seawater rushes in. This forces a microscopic bulb tapoon to shoot out and inject venom. Okay, now I'm going to talk about classification of Snidaria. First, we have Hydrozoa, Cyphozoa, Anthozoa. Okay, for Hydrozoa, they live in freshwater ponds and streams. They also exist only in the polyp form. Hydra also reproduce by sexual and asexual reproduction. Obelia possesses a life cycle in which polyp and medusa are of equal importance. Obelia also, polyps are dimorphic. There are two types of colony, feeding polyps and the reproductive polyps. Now we have characteristic of Cnidaria for Cyphozoa class. The class of Cyphozoa comprised the jellyfishes. Medusa is the main stage in their life cycle. They have no they have either no polyp stage or a much reduced polyp stage. For your information, the biggest jellyfish in the world is lion's mane jellyfish. The tentacle could be long than 120 feet. This is same size as a blue whale. Last but not least, we have Snedaria for Anthozoa class. This class contains the sea anemones and corals. Unlike other Snedarians, Anthozoans do not have a medusa stage in their development. They have either individual or colonial polyps only. Do you know why clownfish are not being stung by the sea anemones? You have 5 seconds to think. Time's up. Clownfish is a mutualist species.
They are able to move within the sea anemones without getting attacked because they clean the sea anemones and provide it with nutrients while receiving protection in a form of symbiosis. Thank you.